Hey, it's me, Jimmy D, and I do videos on TV, movies, superheroes, and gaming. And today we're going to review Godzilla King of Monsters. So, John, mm -hmm. what was your overall thoughts of the God newest Godzilla? Well, this will be interesting because you and I have not talked about this movie at all outside of just now. Yeah. So, um, I've seen it once, but I think I liked it. Because <laughs> so, here's the... Well, no... All of the monster stuff, of course, I found was great. I didn't have any problem with it. Um, <clears throat> I thought it's a little long. It's like two hours, isn't it? Something it like is. that. And I didn't mind so much of the human stuff, though I do have more to say about that. But my understanding is they went back and did a little bit of res res reshoots after some test audience screenings and added some more of the human stuff. And I, I, I don't know how long it was before that, but you probably could have taken whatever you added back out and it probably would have been better. Um but I, you know, as as far as that, the only thing is, listen. The if you've ever seen any of the original Godzilla movies from any of the eras from you know Japan, right? Yeah. The human stuff in those movies is very rarely good. Yeah. And for even Godzilla fans, they always say they're like, oh yeah, when we're in the mood, we just kind of fast forward through the human stuff to get to the monster fights. Okay. If this movie was trying to be a direct adaptation of that kind of movie, I think it's perfect. Yeah. Because the human stuff in this is really kind of throwaway. Yeah. <laughs> Which is a shame because I like all of the actors. and They did get a good cast for this movie. And I can't remember his name. The guy who plays the main lead, the father. I really like that actor and I thought he was great in the movie. Um, I have no just... idea what his name is, but I know who you're yeah. talking about. Mm -hmm. And he's supposed to be in Kong versus Godzilla too, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, but otherwise, it just... <sighs> It's just frustrating because the outline is great, so to speak, but it seems like it needed another couple of more like uh, rewrites as far as the script is concerned. Because people do some like really dumb shit in this yes. movie, and it's it goes back. I haven't actually had this type of movie experience in a while, but I remember back in uh, a couple of years ago there was a, a stint of movies that did this where it was just like you keep finding these characters in a situation where it's like, why are you just standing there? Why don't you just do this thing? Shoot that person. What are you doing? Like and the. That, the big one to me was the sequence of where uh, Matt Madison um, Eleven uh, was standing there while right before they blew up to release uh, King Kodor, and she's standing there. He's the dad's standing there, the mother's standing there, and it's just awkward for a minute. And then the mom's like Madison, and then she backs up, and you're like, "What the fuck is going on?" And the dad's still standing there. The sniper is sitting there trying to get a shot, and nothing is happening for a well, good see, two minutes. That, that I was the scene I was just about to bring up too, because before that, before he's like, because he's in a position where she doesn't have a shot on him. Yeah. But before he got there, she was tracking his head with the gun, and I was like, "Why didn't you just shoot him?" <laughs> Um, and then, uh, and then it was clear though, like, I don't expect the husband to shoot his wife, Yeah. but for the military sniper, if you see her reaching down, going for the detonator and it's like fucking shoot her, <laughs> at least shoot her hand or something, <laughs> yeah, something, it was something, no, everybody just stood there and I was like, God damn it. <laughs> it's sort of like, I thought to myself, um, when Godzilla is back at his house. Um, mm. and basically taking a nap, trying to rest up. I'm sitting there thinking to myself, these people are idiots. Why would Godzilla want to wake up? And, and then the knit scene when he, when, uh, the, the nuke does go off. First of all, they blew up Godzilla's house. So where the fuck are you going to stay that's, now? That's the thing. So I'm, I'm a history guy. And so like seeing all of this, this ancient civilization yeah. stuff and they just, and I'm like, no. <laughs> and, and I, in my mind is like, is this Atlantis or like what? what is going on with this and i want to know who built this stuff because if it's radioactive now is it because godzilla stayed there for so long and it became radioactive was it radioactive before like i want to know that background but that's see that's the thing though if godzilla if that's his home it's only because there's so much radiation there that it heals him yeah which means it should have always been that radioactive yeah. so how the fuck do they build it <laughs> <laughs> like that that scene too, because it's like, all right, can we launch a nuclear torpedo? And I was like, oh no, the launch thing's disabled. I'm like, of course it is. A fucking, of course it is. <laughs> and the man, he took off all of his stuff. I'm like, you're dead. Like, <laughs> you're not, you're not gonna have time to go pet Godzilla. First of all, Godzilla's like, why the fuck is there yeah. a guy walking up to me? Um, but yeah, the people stuff is very, 
it's it's glad when we're glad that Godzilla got the message right because we did just nuke him in the face. Yeah, and he didn't seem too mad about it. So yeah, it's like <laughs> it, was, it was almost like you know. I'm going to let y'all pass on this one because y'all gave me some energy, but you know, that was kind of fucked up. Um, the other thing that bothered me too is that I, I like the relationship that Godzilla and Mothra have. The problem is you don't really get to see it until the fight in Boston. No, you don't. The thing, and the human characters like, oh yeah, they, they have it. They just tell you, they have a thing with each other. And it's like, show us. I would, yeah. I would have liked to have seen it. They don't have to be fighting, but just a scene of Godzilla and Mothra being together and you can see it before they go fight. But then you don't ever get that. No, uh, and special like they kept hinting heavy for Kong. Okay. Oh yeah, back and, in Skull Island and the yeah, like, and they did never mentioned. Did Kong just not give a fuck about who was the alpha, or like because all the other monsters was reacting to wh- whoever the alpha was? You know what I think it was. I, well, first of all, I don't think it was every monster ever. I think because okay. you only ever see like five or six yeah. of these monsters. Um. I would. I think with because Skull Island surrounded by that big veil of storms. I imagine it like like he's. It's almost like he's disconnected from the internet, so to speak. You know, like he's just he doesn't even know what's going on. He doesn't care with the other monsters. And like, is Kong bigger now? Like, okay, so I'm with you. I got out the movie. I've seen it once, and I'm question like I feel like I liked it, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. And I tried to place this between Kong, Skull Island, and Godzilla, and I, like, figuring out wh- what the order is of them. And, like, I felt like the original 2014 Godzilla, it didn't have enough monsters. <laughs> it was very... Well, it was I very. Like I maintain that I like that movie because I respect what it was doing. Because that, yes. try- that was trying to imitate, like, the original Godzilla the from the 50s. Yeah. Um, but I can understand why people don't quite like it. Um, and interesting, you trying to compare it to Kong, I think is a better comparison. And with that, I don't... I don't think it's better than Kong. I, here's the thing. I like the monster fights better in King of the yes. Monsters. So I'd have to say yes. However, if I'm using my objective brain, I have to say Kong is better. <laughs> Movie-wise, I enjoy... As a movie, Kong. But as a watching giant-ass monsters fight each other... Godzilla King of the Monsters. And it's very hard to... Because the next movie is Godzilla versus Kong. Whether it's them actually versus each other. Or Kong and him teaming up. The the tagline of the poster is, One Will Fall. (laughs) So, that's probably still market. I would I would be surprised if it's anything but them doing what you just said. They fight, then they become buddies, and they fight this other... Because there was... I think if they said... Because even in Kong Skull Island, remember, they said that like when they were dropping the bombs before Kong took out the helicopters, they said, oh, wow, the bottom of the island looks like it's hollow, and then there's stuff down there. And then there was a headline, and that ending sequence in, in Godzilla, uh, King yeah. of the Monsters, yeah. there was, I think, a headline or something where they, like, there's something underneath Skull Island or something. So I think that there's going to be another monster or whatever that pops up on Skull Island. I think Godzilla's going to try to show up to do what he wants to do, but then Kong's not going to like that because it's his island. Yeah. And then they're going to fight, and then they're going to be friends. I think that's what's going to happen. Um, I don't know if you caught it, but uh, when Mothra, Mothra um, hatched from her cocoon, the... Oh, yeah, the black guy in the, the black Asian guy it was, it from Kong. Yeah. was from Kong. And it was like... And you... They fixed that where you would not notice if you don't remember actual, like, his exact well, I watched, name. I didn't watch Kong... Until after I'd seen King of the Monsters, actually. Really? I watched. It, you know, I just bought it on Blu-ray the other day because it was a Best Buy, and so I just watched it with my parents. And I watched those two, and I'm like, "Hey, wait a minute!" <laughs> like, so now that 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 clicked. Um, I don't know. What do you feel about Mothra biting it? <laughs> um, I I think they I think another one of those headlines at the end there said that, like there was they found an egg. Something. Yes. So there's um, still come back, but it's just like, it, it, I don't know if I was as upset with Mothra dying as I was Rodan just... Rodan living after he got yeah. impaled by her stinger? Like yeah. Just, and I was like, I I'm like, ah... Uh, I, I, do, I don't understand um, that thought process in a way. Um, so, ultimately, the mother's plan came to fruition. Oh, I'm glad you brought it up. 
Um, because all the monsters fucked up the entire planet. Well, they fucked up a lot of it. The, the thing is, DC I think... is destroyed. Boston's gone. All those other. We got plenty of other cities. New York is fine, <laughs> which is rare. New York is okay. <laughs> <laughs> Every other movie franchise destroys New York. Godzilla won't touch it. Um, no, I don't think it's. I mean, they say that yes, yeah, some of the cities are destroyed, but then they said like, oh yeah, but all this vegetation grew back in their place. Yeah. And the fact of the matter is, with all of these movies, you're going to still have humans with the with working with their government doing something with these monsters so i don't think they destroyed the world they just destroyed a couple of cities and i think um, there's going to be a massive change in society of people uh after this definitely the thing is i think they may have already gone through that after the first godzilla when you realize and i would have loved to seen some of that if yeah. San Francisco grew back as luscious as it did, I would have loved to have seen at least a little section um, in the beginning, like a prologue or something, showing that, or right after she says it, um, showing how. Like, yes, all this vegetation grew, but is, is it still well, radioactive? Again, in one of those headlines I was remembering, they said, they're like, oh yeah, this stuff's grown back, species that were going extinct are now back, or have gone extinct are now back, and that, like, using some of this new stuff that's growing in these places like for fertilizer or whatever it's becoming like this is lucrative market and it's very productive stuff and so I, I think it's definitely implying yes these cities were destroyed but there's a lot of cool stuff that's come out of it and it's helping people more than it's hurting them yeah um so that's the th- yeah but her plan like I gotta say though, the scene where she just fucking calls up the heroes and just like here's my slideshow presentation yes on what, like Oh my god. <laughs> it is a 15 minute monologue. She has a prepared presentation. <laughs> she does. Like, Video clips and everything. Yeah, and I was like, and then especially too, it's like, oh, the pollution and humans are the problem. I'm like, oh, I do have to say, they did have some guts for the kid to be evil too. <laughs> because the kid. Yeah, but she wasn't evil. She, she was just like. But she knew about the, the mom's plan and chose to be on the mom's side. Yeah, I, she's more of a dumb kid though. Yeah, because it's like, she was like she was convinced. I think her mom told, didn't tell her that like all of these people were gonna die and shit. Yeah, and when she when she found that out, I mean, she was. I think she should probably also feel kind of stupid that she assumed this was gonna happen not like that. But um, yeah, she was like, oh, this is not good. So I do have to it. say the Rodan sequence of him coming out the volcano, and then all that afterwards uh-huh. until Godzilla gets bombed with uh, the uh, the no oxygen bomb. Um, that has to be one of my favorite sequences in the entire movie. Well, it was good, and I, I did have some problems with it, only because so the oxygen destroyer yeah. is a, was an integral part of the original Godzilla movie. Yes. That's what killed the original Godzilla. And then in this movie, it's like, hey, we have this thing, it's called the oxygen destroyer, and we're using it, like, right now, just FYI. Yeah, and then it was, like, <laughs> it was already on its way. Yeah, like, like they introduced it, and it went off, and it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> And so, I mean, I, there was some great disaster porn moments in this movie, um, and I feel like that's a lot of what has pulled me in more with these Godzilla movies is that disaster sequences yeah. that I mean, just today's technology is able to do. I mean, that's why I love Independence Day because of the, all those sequences and i the flooded dc with it on fire and then the the lightning coming from king Ghidorah, the, the Ghidorah, like flying above yeah it and everything. like that that's just awesome now because i'm not too um engaged with the history of godzilla mm-hmm. king Ghidorah was it always an alien yes okay well Kind of. Okay. If I recall... I know there was a robot one where it comes back, and it's like... Yeah, that, that, those were the aliens, again. Uh, no, that was the future. That was the fu- people of the future reconstructing Ghidorah as a mecha Ghidorah and then sending it back in time to kill Godzilla. Anyway, <laughs> I, I think, if I remember correctly, the original, and I forgot, because each Godzilla era has a name, and I can't yeah. remember what yeah. the hell they are. The original Ghidorah was more of like an ancient it was treated more like a spirit kind of a mm-hmm. thing of like a, of ancient origin or something like that more spiritual and then i think after that it became it was very much an alien in okay. most cases yeah. um Cause so I, I, when they said that and i'm sitting there thinking to myself okay how did he get to earth 
Um, did it just fly through space? Like, does it have that ability? The answer is yes. <laughs> but he literally just flies through space. But I don't think I. Th I think they probably go with like, um, maybe he was on a meteorite mm -hmm. that landed, or I his mean, planet like, blew up and he, he crashed. Could, um, I don't know. Could he survive in space with the regeneration? The thing is, he has to be an alien, even in this new movie. Because yeah. There's no way that, with all the other monsters, you can suspend your disbelief to a certain degree that they could have evolved on Earth. Yeah, because they have some type of Earth quality. Exactly. A three-hit dragon that shoots lightning from its mouth and can fly. No. no. So they, I think they had to stick with that origin, because it didn't make any other damage. No. Anyway. Um... So, I don't know. But, there, I mean, there are, again, there's some things I probably took. Because you, you mentioned the, the, uh, the Rodan sequence. One of the things that did bother me about that, though, is that, like, you can tell where they could probably cut some stuff out. Like, the scene where they have to, they dropped one of the, the Ospreys to open up the hangar bay to let the other Osprey in. It's like, that sequence was completely unnecessary. You didn't have to keep cutting back to that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you could have taken that out. I mean, there, and there's a few scenes like that. Um but yeah, I don't know. I enjoyed the though. Actually, now that we mentioned that, because that roughly after that is when I believe Ghidorah gets his head cut off, right, from Godzilla. Yes. Godzilla yeah. bites it off. Yeah, and um, it regenerates. Yes, and so then I have to ask: Did you see the end credit scene? Yes, where it's a head. So yeah. that's why I was thinking for uh, Godzilla versus King Kong was they fight initially, they team up, and then a new King Ghidorah regrows from that head. Because wouldn't you really just have to shock it with a large amount of lightning? And I think we don't know the rules. We don't know. <laughs> um, but that would be what Godzilla and King Kong team up to fight against. Because you you mentioned the hollow underground of Skull Island. If I recall, that's because of the where the those are where the monsters live that that's come. Problem. Yeah, yeah, that come up to fight King Kong. I don't think there's another. There could always be another monster down but they there. They also, but they also said in, in in King of the Monsters, and they alluded to it in Kong that there are these underground hollow earth yes. that allow them to travel. I think that I don't know. I don't think they're gonna have Eudora come back in Kong versus Skull only because then that's. I too feel many. it would be too. You can't. I want to see a different monster fight them. That's what I'm saying. I, I don't want to see the same one just coming back because then yeah, you that and it, it ruins I'm it. A little bit. I've enjoyed the scenery in, in the first Godzilla to a certain degree. It was a little dark as far as the scene for the most. Yes. But in this movie, it's so much easier to see everything, but it's still kind Always of Always raining? Because, well, it makes sense. Because it's radiation. Well, it's because wherever Ghidorah goes, a typhoon follows him, yes. so it would make sense. But I think I'm about done with that. I would rather them for, the, for like Kong and, and, and Godzilla... I'd like to go them to do more of how they did it in Kong, where it was broad daylight, you can mm -hmm. see all the fights. So I don't need to see Ghidorah with his typhoon again. Yeah. Um, so a different kind of creature, and I'd like to see more open, um, more open fights and everything. I don't know. I think they're alluding to something with Ghidorah. You could do a whole bunch of stuff. They could yeah. do it where he does physically come back, or you could use that. I don't know if you're familiar with Destroya. Is that the six-headed one? No, Destroyer no. is essentially Godzilla's version of, of Doomsday from okay. Superman, um, where he's the oxygen destroyer that killed the original Godzilla, woke up as of the old, a very old like Precambrian species of these like little crab things, mm -hmm. and empowered them. But they can form into bigger creatures, and so what they are is, and the movie that Destroyer was introduced in basically was ripping off Alien, so to speak, because the littler ones that mm -hmm. like you had these people in this facility and they were looking for, them. but. Um, they, they have this this power, the oxygen destroyer power that killed the original Godzilla fighting into the other newer one. Um, and they basically can form into smaller forms and overwhelm you and then form to big one, the perfect form. And they can, and it, like, it would, in, it would like uh, use its, it has an inner mouth that it would like stick into Godzilla and mm -hmm. like absorb power. And then like, so, but it was, it is essentially, it is the creature that killed the original God, the, the Godzilla okay. after the original Godzilla died. Sorry, there's like okay. three. The original the one, the middle one, and then his son. <laughs> um, but it ended up did killing Godzilla. It's actually in this movie when Godzilla goes bur the burning Godzilla when he yeah. goes like that Nuclear. actually is right. Yeah, he actually he did that in in in, in Godzilla versus Destroyer. That's where that comes from. Um, so uh, I so you could use that as since since the oxygen destroyer was set off, 
you could either set that up for a proper introduction of of destroy it later on, or you could say, well, actually, what it did was it it like the the oxygen destroyer fucked with the dead Ghidorah head and it grew into this new creature that's not Ghidorah, yeah, or something like that. Um, there's a whole host of things, but I don't know. But here's I guess unless you have anything else you want to talk about the movie, I have a question for you though. Okay. Because, um, this movie did not perform as well as it was supposed to. No. It is the least successful, at least as far as I. I had to check again for box office, especially opening box office, because um, it, now it's a steady decline. It's got the original Godzilla, Kong made less money, and now this made less money than Kong for opening box office. Yeah. And um, and there are many people. So, so Kong versus Godzilla is already filmed. It's already finished principal yeah. photography. But there's a lot of people saying that if they had not already filmed it, they wouldn't. Um, so do you think this monster verse is doomed? No. Um I think the problem with the box office with this one, Kong Skull Island came out and it basically was a family movie. People, families went to go see it. God of Monsters is congested and choked with family movies. You have Aladdin, mm. you're going you're gonna to have Toy Story in, uh, in a week and a half. Um, you have Men in Black, X-Men. It, it, all these family movies are just choking it versus when King Kong and more King Kong because King Kong was more of a family movie than um because I looked it up because when the box office numbers came out I was like oh shit I don't want Godzilla to end because I, I love these movies they um so I looked it up and even the original the 2014 Godzilla um that one is a little different um and I'll get to that in a second but um King uh God's Godzilla doesn't have as big a family outing that King Kong got because it's just clustered. Now the amazing. yeah the original Godzilla that had also another thing. It, it, this goes to uh, King Kong too. Star power. There were bigger names in the other two movies than this movie. The biggest name you had in this movie was 11 from Stranger Things. <laughs> and true. um and while yes the mother and the dad they're 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 actors that people like to see you don't know their name. <laughs> um I just know the mothers from the the um the Conjuring franchise. Um and there's a few other actors in there that I know of. I just they're not big names. While 2014 had Brian Cranston right off a of Breaking Bad, even though it was he was only in it 15 minutes. Uh, you have Elizabeth no, Olsen. Didn't know that though. <laughs> you have uh, you didn't know that. You have Elizabeth Olsen and the guy who played Quicksilver in Age of Ultron, right before Age of Ultron was coming out. Um, well, here's the thing though. I know what you're saying. I think that first Godzilla movie did get a little bit of a boost because of the star power. Yeah. But I don't I don't think that was why it was as successful as it was. No. But well, I'm, it just... Kong, while Kong did have uh, Brie Larson, but she hadn't really been famous yet. You had yet. Tom Hiddleston had Tom and uh, Samuel L. Jackson. Again, I'm not convinced entirely that that was what really pushed that movie over there. I think they just... I think these movies have the ability to stand on their own, and those two movies did. Um, I agree with you that this movie, they shouldn't have released it now i don't know i i don't know when though because you can't release it right before end game no you can't release it right after end game but i just don't it, know when this year is all movies this year other than the disney movies are being choked and smothered um yeah. whether they're good or not they're being choked and smothered because there's too many damn movies like <laughs> me and my brother went to see godzilla this week and we're thinking well fuck x-men comes out next week i mean this oh. friday and then the that friday after that is Men in Black, and then the following after that is Toy Story 4. Like, it's just getting smacked in the head with movies, and we're like, and me and my brother were thinking, like, we well, we don't want to go see a movie every week. I mean, we would, but we really don't want to, and we're like, do we go see X-Men because this is the last X-Men, and we've watched them all, or do we wait for the new um, Men in Black because that actually looks decent? I heard the X-Men movie is not very good. I've that's... heard that too, so, like... I, and I knew it might not be that good, but what I'm saying is, like, it's just movie after movie. I know I'm going to see Toy Story, mm -hmm. so it's, it's, and a lot of people, they only see one movie a month, and 
here it is June. They just saw in game or in, and they might have just saw Aladdin. Um and they're waiting for more than likely Toy Story cuz X-Men and Men in Black I don't see as big of a juggernaut as Toy Story. So it's just there's not enough movie money to spread across all these films. I'm hoping two things. First that King of the Monsters does really well on like DVD and Blu-ray sales. Yes. Because that's because that's possible, and I know that um, like John Wick, for example, the original John Wick didn't really do that hot in theaters, but the DVD sales and everything picked it up, and then you had the sequel, and it's been consistently making more. Yes, I think King of the Monsters can have legs in that regard, and I hope it does well on Blu-ray. I'm buying it on. Blu-ray. Yeah, I am too. And then, and then I I'm hoping that Kong versus Godzilla comes out in a better release window, where it's not as competitive with Endgame or whatever. Yeah, and that it is. Also, a little bit better of a movie than King of the Monsters. Yes, I, I agree with that. I am a little worried if it comes out the exact same time next year. Mm. It's going up against Wonder Woman, and Black Widow would have already been in theaters for a month. So, <laughs> so they, may, they may have to finagle it. Yeah, uh, I, with those movies though, you could probably release. Unlike Endgame, because everyone yeah. was just waiting. Ever, for it. Everyone was waiting. I think you could probably at least like put Godzilla two weeks before those movies, I, or or just after. I don't know. Either right a couple weeks before Black Widow, or two weeks after Black Widow, because I think that would be just enough window for mm-hmm. it, for it to uh, to work. Um, I, I think you I, don't want I, it to go head to head with those two. No, but but I think the thing is though, like it's not. Like people are looking forward to Black Widow, people are looking forward to Wonder Woman, but it's not the same as like. It's Endgame. not. Yeah, it's not. It's not, not the juggernaut. Um, um, so I'm, I'm just. I'm hoping it does well because I really don't want this franchise. No, to end. I really enjoy it. Because I mean, you can every trailer that came out, we basically were just mind blown and just just ah oh, at those move at those trailers for this movie. So, and even though the plot was not really there, I still love this movie. Um, what? And I want more. And I just I want it. The ability for it, these movies to get better and to do much better, like it, it's there. And yeah. I really want it to happen. And I'm I'm really sad that that this movie isn't doing as well. Yeah. And I, but I think it, I mean worldwide the box office it has made money. It's yeah. just it's not maybe not as enough as they really needed it to. But exactly. that's, I'm hoping Blu-ray sales. So anyway, but yeah, that's overall. That's what right. would you rate it? Uh, one uh, to ten. Out of 10? Yeah, out of ten. Objectively, it's probably a six, but I'm gonna rate it a seven or eight just because I like the, the, the monster fights. I like. I, I'm sorry, I, I'm a fan of the series. Yeah, but ob- objectively speaking, I, probably a six. It's above average, but yeah, I, I would probably yeah. six and a half to seven would be mine. Okay. Um, and that's objectively speaking because with a movie without big names, it was pretty decent. Yeah. Um, I definitely, if there wasn't so many movies coming out, I would have gone seen it again, but I got to save my movie ticket to go see another one. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. And like always, I will see you in the next one later.